we're starting this vlog in a Walmart parking lot and we're both getting ready to head over to a wedding. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Wedding makeup. Let's show the dress. I don't want to be in this sun. Let's see where's the good lighting. So cute. Oh, I got this from J. Crew for $30. <laughs> Very nice. We're back from Georgia in St. Augustine and on the ride there were some leaves changing. We're definitely not gonna have a fall here. It is beautiful. I love living here. And I'm all dressed up because we're currently gonna shoot something for Penhaligans, one of my favorite perfume brands, so I'll show you the new scent. And we're back at Flagler College to take these shots. Wow. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Oh, wow. and then it simmers down to vanilla. It's a perfect fall scent. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. <laughs> mm -hmm. This pretty free people skirt. Oh man. <laughs> so happy we got that done. But we still have one more shot. Hopefully we get the sunset on the beach. Get some ripples in the sand. Oh, I look so tall. <laughs> We found this amazing pizza place called Pizza Time. It was genuinely as good as New York pizza. Throwback to the vlog when we were doing all of our favorite things before moving. We love a grandma slice and this one was a little different but freaking amazing. If you're in the area, you've probably already tried it. And I'm back with this do revenge look. I freaking loved the movie and I decided to do my own take on Drea's look. I took it a little bit more glam, but this is gonna be a Halloween look. I had so much fun with it and we're headed to St. Augustine again because there is a fountain that kind of looks like where they would mingle. So hopefully we can get a good shot. And then when I get home, I'm gonna do a fall haul. So I'll take some of this off and I have some really cute cardigans to show you guys. So yeah, I did a bolder purple makeup look and I'm out of breath because I've been running around. But I'll give you a rundown of how I put this costume together. It's super easy. So this beret is from Amazon. I will have it linked down below. Short sleeve button up is also Amazon. The bow was tricky. I couldn't find anything that looked like it, but I found the skirt. So to make it match, I took out a chunk of the skirt, like two side pleats, and it was a little too big anyway. And then I sewed it back together and made a scarf out of the, a bow, a bow tie, out of the extra fabric. And I didn't tie a bow, I did like two loops, taped these two pieces and then taped a piece over top. So that is how I got the look. As for shoes, you can go with a couple options. Two pairs of shoes. I went with the pink ones because I remember Drea wore a pink pair, but these would be really cute too. These are from Shein, so very fast fashion of me. I'm sorry about that, but I bought them for a Winx Club look and I didn't end up doing that look. I wanted to like recreate Flora's um, outfits in real life. So maybe I will still do that one. I added a little fluff to a lip smackers. And then I thought it'd be fun to carry around a magazine. This one is from what year? Oh, this one's December 2018. So this is pretty recent, but I loved the colors of it. I thought it really matched, but I do collect old Seventeen magazines. So I have some really early like 2000s ones. 
glue on nails from Olive and June. They had cute ponchos and you could always go with a cardigan. This one reminds me of one that Jennifer Aniston wore in Friends. Probably lose the hat because it's just so much purple. Oh, I love it. Let's try on some other fall items that I picked up. Oh, I feel very Serena right now. Vander was in. <laughs> but let's try on this preppy vest that I got from Anthropology. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to unbutton with long nails. I'm not used to it. Look at this vest. I feel like I typically go for like florals, um, ruffles, lace, really girly, but this is a little more bold and preppy, but I love it. Also from Anthropology, I got this beautiful candle. I got this full mug, which is so cute, but honestly, whenever I sip from it, because it has grooves, I like dribble <laughs> my coffee everywhere. This egg dish. I love big dip eggs. Let me know if you have no idea what that is, but you like half hard boil an egg, crack the top open, and then dip um, toast in it, and it tastes amazing. My favorite brand probably ever is For Love and Lemons. It's just very expensive, in my opinion anyway, so I like to thrift it off Poshmark. Oh, I love it. And like I was saying about Poshmark, I'll try to sell a couple pieces and then I'll use that Posh money towards an item like this. And um, yeah, I love shopping Posh. So I'll have myself linked down below because you might see this piece at some point on my Poshmark. And I wanted to wear this with this little cardigan. Wow, I like cardigan at the end of every sentence. Just a peak of blue. I ordered from Hollister and I swear I had this top in middle school. Very nostalgic. This is so like Vampire Diaries. If you don't wear a bra to like stretch it, or I guess I just have like small boobs, it does ride up and sits funny. So you have to wear a bra or have some boobs to kind of weigh the top down. And I loved it so much. I also got it in this cream shade. Oh, I'm sweating right now in this top. I wanted to show you these accessories I got from Elena Haunch. She's from Ukraine. Let's open these up. I've already opened them and they're amazing. So first up, I got these big scrunchies. And these are definitely more of a luxurious item because they are handcrafted. Like, look at this detail. Oh my gosh, this one feels very Blair Waldorf, specifically this look. That's what I keep thinking of. She sent over this beautiful bow and I'm gonna keep it in the box. Oh my gosh. Let's try on the other two. These are comfortable too. Like this is padded. This one actually fits my head. <laughs> this is what I mean by it, <laughs> like riding up. In my last vlog, I got some extensions put in and I'm gonna get them taken out even though my hair looks super full. When I put my hair just in an easy ponytail, you can see all the beads and I didn't like even look it up. I kind of did it on the spot. And as much as I like them, I toss my hair up so often and I don't like that you can see the little micro beads or whatever. And my last fall piece is very unique. It's this mermaid sweater, but for fall. Eee! I could see myself wearing this sweater at the beach and also just like to be comfy. I got my fall haul beside me, and while I was in Canada, Nikon Canada sent me a new camera. So right now I'm currently filming on my Canon G7X, and I upgraded my other filming camera recently, but this one has 4K. Z30 camera, DX16 to 50 kit. I've only ever used Canon, so I'm excited to see how Nikon performs, and I don't have any cameras that do shoot in 4K. Okay, I literally can't put this in, not by the camera, because I can't function with these nails. 
but this is very compact. It's just a little bit bigger and heavier when I put it up to my G7X. I can't wait to start filming with this and stay tuned because I do have a couture Halloween costume that I'm working on right now and I'm gonna shoot that on the 4K. Also from Canada, I brought back these dried flowers from my sister's wedding and I wanna look in to see how I can put them in like a pendant for her birthday coming up. I think that would be so pretty. And to wrap up this haul while I'm still in my crazy shoes sitting on the floor, I got a package from ColourPop and this is the Witches Are Back Hocus Pocus 2, but I've never even seen the first Hocus Pocus, so I wanted to do a giveaway. If you are a Hocus Pocus fan, be sure to comment down below what your favorite sister as well as your Instagram handle, and I will be sending you this whole package. I love the cartoons. Lip glosses. If you have a cat allergy, maybe don't enter. My cat just rubbed all over that box. And we are looking at a kitty product right now. Such a pretty pigment. I'm keeping the plastic on. I opened it, I wanted to show you guys, but nothing's been used. And yeah, good luck. And I will ship it out ASAP so you can use it all October. So big thank you to ColourPop. I love this package. I just felt like it would be better suited for someone who was a fan of the witches. So good luck. And if you guys do want to shop ColourPop in general, you can always use my code Jackie for money off your orders. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye. I'm free. Oh, that is so cute. Mm. <laughs>